evening everyone today is Saturday August 31st 2024 the last day of August tomorrow Sunday will be the first of September like I said um, I just finished doing 30 minutes on my treadmill no matter what happened I will be doing 30 minutes even I have to film it really late because I need to exercise because I desperately need to lose the weight I need to change my body somehow anywho I am not a dietitian I am not a doctor all my information is what I get from social media and Google so, I do this for me. I do not recommend what I do to anybody. Because no matter what I do, I seem to screw things up. No matter what kind of things I decide for myself, I somehow screw it up. As if you know, um, I stopped juicing on day 67 because my teeth got worse. And I sound funny because my whole mouth, like I said in my previous video, is sensitive. And I got one molar in here that is hurts like a biatch. And I feel like it grow that it's like, it's preventing me from chewing anything. It's sensitive to just drink room temperature water. So I just been having water since day 67. Tomorrow, I am gonna introduce myself to eat eating soft food mostly like um, chicken broth this morning I left the house I like slowly cooked the chicken a whole chicken with different kind of veggies like I said celery onion carrots um, garlic salt garlic to just like bo um, cooked it boiled it for like about three to four hours and, and um, so I can slowly like um, introduce my body to um, eating something nutritious but nothing that I have to chew because I'm in a bad situation right now I literally cannot chew anything if I do I am in pain I just feel like that one molar teeth like grow and it's preventing me from chewing anything it just like my whole mouth is very sensitive but one side is getting better so that's good but this side is bad I actually like bit this part of my gums and it hurts like a biatch my doctor's appointment is a long ways long ways making an appointment is interesting Sometimes you get an appointment just like that, and some you gotta wait for a long time. I'm one of those people. I get new spur in. I've been washing my um, gums and mouth with Listerine. That's supposed to help your gums from inflammation and clean it and any bacteria going to your teeth, whatever. It's supposed to help. Then I got that Sensodyne toothpaste that is supposed to help deposit to your teeth the like enamel that corroded and disappeared because I was drinking so much juice and I ate so much fruit before. I love fruit and veggies. So over the years it has catched up to me finally. So. Even um, the um, watermelon juice, I stopped doing that. It's Watermelon is supposed to be good for your teeth and all that stuff, but I just don't want to anything sugary, even if it's 100% watermelon. But I just like want water to just help my gums. Because any kind of sugary stuff is a bad idea when you have sensitive teeth. But it's, it's getting better, like this side. I can, um, I still like, when I drink my water, I like 
tilt it this way. It's getting a little bit, it's not as sensitive anymore. Just one side is getting better. So tomorrow, um, I plan to like um, have a cup of chicken broth. The chicken just looks like it's just so soft. So there's no chewing involved. I can just put it in my mouth, it can melt. I'm gonna do that for like, um, like maybe a whole week to just, cause it's a lot. I boiled a big pot. I'm gonna have that like, maybe every other day or every day to, um, to get my stomach situated to introduce like food but not anything to have to chew so I won't get sick when I start again eating like soft food and regular food I want to go back to um, OMAD one meal a day because everything else seems to fail <laughs> But I am going to continue, no matter what I put my body through, I am going to continue or whatever I eat. I'm still going to continue doing 30 minutes every day. No matter what, I will get into it. It is pretty late. I am tired. We've been all over today. It's the late, it's labor week, labor weekend, weekend. I cannot freaking talk. All day today, I had water with me. In that no one's um, paying me to show you bare low dose since I have a fatty liver I like google what's safe to take um, aspirin they suggested low dose bear because with people with um, bad liver in the first place should not be taking aspirin but you can take the little tiny baby aspirin it's not very cheap. Oh my goodness. Everything is so expensive. It has 300 on it though, but low dose. They're not taking any advice from me because I'm always wrong. I looked it up on Google. But that's my food pretty much all day. And water. Fun. <sighs> so that's the plan tomorrow I'm gonna have a cup of chicken broth to get my body to get used to eating something I mean it's not quite eating it, but it has nutritional stuff on it you know the chicken and a carrot celery and onion and all that good stuff so and I put ginger root juice to like to make it all nice and tasty so no requiring of any chewing at all <sighs> it's unbelievable that so much thing happened every time I try to challenge myself to some kind of diet or anything like that it fails <sighs> but I'm gonna keep trying but this time, it is going to be one meal. And I'm going to try to eat it every morning because I need to, after I eat anything, I have to brush my teeth and keep using the mouthwash to like cleanse out my gums and keep my gums healthy to make it stronger. But like I said, no matter what, I will be in that treadmill. That's why I always put it on the side, or yeah, this side, uh, which side I always, either here or down here or up here. Because no one's want to watch me just be in the treadmill for 30 minutes. Sometimes I put it for one minute or 50 seconds or whatever. Make it speed it up. We went like on a road trip today and we have a little fun early in the morning. We live in a small town that there's nothing going on. I don't want to hang out around here for fun. I love it. It's a nice little quiet place. It doesn't have the weird hustle and bustle of the city. If we want any kind of fun, we, we drive to a couple states away. Or 
very good at a casino. There's so many casinos everywhere. We have a casino here, but our favorite one is going to Windstar. Hopefully nothing happens that we don't go to Windstar. I already booked a room and we have all that stuff. I will film stuff and show you guys. But we just got back from our little road trip. We left way early this morning and we got back at like around around 8 or 9, 8 or 8.30 we got home. We left this morning like around 9 o'clock in the morning. We had our little fun and we're home. So that's why I'm filming this pretty late. My husband is really asleep. It's probably 11 now that I'm talking to you. It was like 10 or whatever when I was in a treadmill. So it's probably 11 now. So, anywho, how many minutes do I, I film? 11 minutes now? 10 minutes? Anyhow, it is bad. I guess I really can't just eat too much fruit now. That's something a lot that I don't know if just me or I just have bad luck, but there's a lot of people that juices and never talk about it. How it doesn't affect their teeth. But since I was a little girl, I've always loved to eat fruit. Okay. I'm from Hawaii. I eat a lot of mangoes, pineapple. I know pineapple is high in acidic. I don't know about mango. I eat a lot of exotic fruit. When I was a teenager, I'd rather, majority of the food I eat, it was like fruit and veggies. If I do eat meat, it'd be like fish. But I love fruit, so that's why my teeth are all screwed up. I eat a lot of acidic food and mostly probably from my water because I put a lot of either lemons or lemon juices so it eat up my enamel any citrus fruit is very acidic and yeah that is why I'm suffering you might not think I'm not suffering I'm pretty good at hiding my pain this helps But do not do what I do. This is from my own stupidity. I'm in desperation to lose the weight. And I know I should not be taking cut by just doing fad diets and all that stuff. I've learned it now. I'm not going to do that again. But one day when I get to visit the doctor and everything is um, fixed in my mouth, I will choose wisely what kind of fruit will be eating there is some fruit that that's not very acidic and, and actually good for your teeth so I'm gonna be introducing a lot of soft food starting tomorrow um, I bought some um, like soft cheese like little string cheese I could try to like break into little tiny pieces and eat it in this side slowly I bought a lot of like canned spinach and I'm gonna be drinking a lot of chicken broth something nutritious so yeah that's it I'm tired I am ready to go to bed take my makeup take a shower brush my teeth do all that routine I have to do every night and go to bed See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Sunday, the 1st of September. Can't wait. It's so close to fall and winter. I love fall weather. I love it. I cannot, and I cannot tolerate so much heat. The older I get, I cannot stand the heat. Anywho, I am exhausted. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I am super tired. I didn't go to bed yesterday, like about three o'clock in the morning. I kept, you know, waking up on and off, on and off. When you drink so much water, you tend to be in the bathroom a lot. 
and I woke up like around six o'clock this morning. We gotta get ready and all that stuff and we went to our trip. Um, I am tired, like I said. We were all over the place. We're just uh, having our fun, just walking everywhere, window shopping and stopping here and there to just enjoy life. Today was like our date night. We went to play a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Just, you know, enjoying each other's company. Okay, this is a very long video. But, okay, I am officially tired. See you guys tomorrow. Day 72, August 31st. 2024 the last day of august there we go 30 minutes and 15 seconds as always i always put it in a two i don't do anything hard just a 30 minute cardio it's day 72 i'm doing my treadmill